water from the drain goes through this four inch pipe. This in turn leads to the inner chamber of the Nexus 310. So the water will settle within this inner chamber and it goes around and around. The solids settles to the bottom and feeds through, through the uh, static K1 from the bottom through the K1 right there. And then it goes through this pipe and this pipe leads to the outside chamber with a moving bed. This is K1 with a moving bed, seven cubic feet of K1. And it's aerated. After that, it goes through the outlet right here. Um, for me, I have another static system on the outlet with the grid on the bottom. And this in turn goes to the pump. And this returns back to the pond. So to clean the filter, you use this uh, blockage and block the water from the bottom drain okay this stops the water coming in to the inner chamber and then after that you're going to put the stand pipe here so that the water from the inner chamber doesn't go to the outer chamber turn on the air outlet and this will boil the wall the k1 filter media and after a few minutes it's going to boil and leave it like this for about i say five minutes after five minutes, this water in the inner chamber will be really, really dirty. So this is after five minutes with the K1 boiling. Water from the bottom, from the pond versus water from the filter. Again, dirty water and clean water. Dirty. The next step requires us to drain the inner chamber with the dirty water. So this valve here is the um, two inch valve that drains the inner chamber. The one next to it, the small one is three quarter inch or an inch pipe that drains the outer chamber. That's rarely used. So just that this valve, open this up and this will drain the inner chamber with the dirty water. And for me, it's gonna lead down to the bottom here where this pump is and um, it's going to pump out to the yard for the plants outside. As the water from the inner chamber drains down, the water level will gradually go down until it's completely empty. Once the water inside the inner chamber is empty, you close the valve on the bottom and pull the standpipe pull the blockage and turn off the air to the inner chamber so that air now returns to the outer chamber. Here you see that the water fills the inner chamber first and then it goes through the middle pipe and then feeds the outer chamber with the moving bed. The model of this Nexus unit is the model 310. It holds 222 gallons of water and uh, I have two of these plus a bead filter for the skimmer and a shower and it's for this 13,000 gallon pond that's uh, nine feet deep.